Hey guys, Crypto Dad here again, and today I'm going to show you how to restore your Google Authenticator codes to a new phone. So let's get going. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to tell you if you've lost your phone and you need to restore your Google Authenticator is that if you do not have your codes backed up, you are completely out of luck. So if you've just lost your phone and you're checking out this video thinking that I have some sort of magic trick that's going to get your Google Authenticator codes back, this is not it, okay? If you have Google Authenticator and you're interested in how you restore codes, you might want to go through my previous video on how to back up your codes. Okay? So, if you've meticulously written down all of your Google Authenticator backup codes, but you're not really sure how you go about getting your Google Authenticator restored to a new phone, here we are. Let's get started. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is uh, share my phone with you. Okay, and uh, we're just going to take it as read that this is the, uh, the new phone that uh, does not have Google Authenticator installed on it, but you need to get access to your Google Authenticator account. All right, so the first step, of course, would be to go and download Google Authenticator. All right, and there we go. Uh, as you can see, I already own it, so I can just quickly download it. All right, so now that we have Google Authenticator installed, we're at the begin setup phase. So the first thing I want to do is restore my Gmail account. All right, so I want to go to the G. Now I have access to the Gmail account, so I'm going to launch a browser that does not have access to that Gmail account so that we can go through this recovery process. Email address. Okay, it wants the password. And then we'll move on. Oh, it doesn't matter. All right, now here's the moment of truth. Here's where we're gonna enter that, that backup code because uh, there's no uh, Google Authenticator on here yet. In the case of restoring from a backup code, we're gonna wanna go more options. And here we go. Enter one of your eight digit backup codes. So we're going to click that. And let's enter that code now. All right. And we'll click next. Okay. And that worked. Okay. All right. And it just let me know that there was a sign in using the backup code. Okay, now that we've gained access to the account, it's telling us that we should uh, go ahead and update our two-factor authentication settings. So we'll do that. Got to log in again. <laughs> okay, so now, uh, you know, we've lost the old phone and now we've gained access using the backup code. So now we can choose change phone, all right? And we're gonna tell it we have an iPhone, right? And now we get the uh, scan barcode. So we can go to begin setup on the phone and choose scan barcode and uh, give it access to the camera and boom, there we go. Now we go next and it wants us to enter that code and choose verify and done, there we go. So now we've done it. We have uh, enabled a new phone by using the backup uh, Google Authenticator code. Okay, so you can do that with all your Google accounts. So uh, that's Google. Uh, let's move on to Coinbase and see how that works. All right, now Coinbase, uh, you had these backup codes. So uh, it's a little bit easier. So I'm just gonna do a manual entry here and I'm going to choose uh, I'm just going to write it down as Coinbase and I'm going to put the uh, email address associated with that account. All right. And now it wants the key. Now the key is going to be uh, their backup code that uh, we've backed up when we first uh, enabled two-step authentication on this Coinbase account. So I'm going to hit done and hit the check. All right, now that we've got this uh, shiny new uh, Coinbase uh, Google Authenticator, let's uh, see if it works. 
So uh, let's go over to uh, sign into our uh, Coinbase account. Enter my email. Now it wants the two-factor authentication. So here's our moment of truth. And we'll choose verify. And lo and behold, uh, we've gained access to our Coinbase account. So uh, pretty straightforward if you've got that uh, code backed up. All right. So uh, let's move on to uh, Binance. Binance is very similar. So uh, I have a code for Binance uh, backed up. So I'm going to go over to that. All right, and I'm going to just create another manual account on my phone here. And I'm going to put in here that it's Binance. Uh, and then I'll put the email. And now this is just a text field. You can put anything you want here, but you want it to be meaningful for the account, right? All right, and now I'm going to put that backup key in there. Now that I've entered that backup key, I'm going to choose Done. Hit the check. So let's make sure that guy works, right? Okay, so it wants my Google Authenticator code, so we'll put in this new one that we just created from the backup, and boom, success, we're in. Okay, so uh, Binance was pretty straightforward. Let's go over to uh, Bittrex and do the same thing. Uh, I'm going to choose another new uh, manual. Uh, let's move this up a little bit. Going to choose another new one and choose manual entry. And once again, I have to fill in this field. And I, uh, you know, when you scan the barcode, it fills it in for you automatically. When you do it manually, you need to write it in. You can write anything you want, but it should be meaningful for the account. So uh, let's put that. All right. And then we need that backup key. So let's enter that. All right. And you'll want to double check to make sure that you've entered that correctly. All right. And then I'm just going to choose done here and then hit the check. And lo and behold, I have another one down there. And let's go and sign in to our um, Bittrex. All right. Now I'm assuming you have your login. It's just that we've managed to lose our Google Authent. We've lost our phone, right? So we want to get back in. All right. So here we go. Uh, we're going to use that one down there on the bottom. Let's let it refresh. Once it turns red, it's about to refresh. That one. All right, and then choose login. Okay, so that's it. We've gained access. So as you can see now, I've got, I've restored access to my Gmail account and three of my cryptocurrency accounts. The Gmail account was a bit tricky. Uh, you had to use the code to gain access to the account, and then you were able to do the uh, change phone, which will allow you to. Uh, you know, enable the new phone uh, Google Authenticator. And then the uh, cryptocurrency exchanges, uh, as long as you have those backup codes, those secret keys that you uh, make note of when you set up the account, it's pretty straightforward to uh, create a, uh, manually create a new Google Authenticator code account within Google Authenticator. So I hope that this video was helpful to you. Uh, it's probably a good idea to watch this video before this actually happens. But if it happened to you and you had your backup codes and you weren't sure how to proceed, I hope that uh, I got you back where you needed to be. Before I sign off, I'd like to mention that I do have a live stream Q&A session every Friday night at 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Join me for the live Q&A in LA. So if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel, I would appreciate it. When you subscribe, there's a little bell that allows you to be notified whenever I post a new video. So uh, you can click that as well. Once again, thanks for joining me and hope to see you again soon.